Hey YouTube, what's going on? Bill here from Plus Guys Gaming, back at it again with another dueling book rated commentary matchup for you today. In today's video, we have S Plus 413 over 1924 going up against, I'm gonna call that person Lee. 681 over 825. Without further ado, let's get into the duel. Alright, we got S Plus winning the rock paper scissors and choosing to go first good luck have fun we got a hand of eaglin winds storm winds um spring and a uh, second copy of eaglin up here we have tim key sparrow avian um torcos and canary All right, that's a ding, ding, ding. We're going to start the match up here. He's going to activate winds, use the effect to put back Varrior Statue and Eagle into the bottom of the deck and draw not one, but two. Draws into Imperm and Rabina. Summons the Rabina. Gets back the Stormwind, summons the Eagle gonna go for the end pin of course it's gonna banish banish the tribute summon end pin channeling one end pin channeling two rabina adds the rabina to the hand end pin's gonna add the dreaming town summon the bear statue set the imperm and the dreaming town pass up here we have bird call join i'm drawn 10 key activated now we have bear statue on field so they're locked into wins, but unfortunately for S plus, that's pretty much all their opponents playing. So that barrier statue is pretty much useless. He adds a fractal with a ten key, sends it to the grave. Here comes uh, Wagtail to the grave. So especially someone can uh, turquoise and activate the effect. So express someone a licorice. Monster from the hand or graveyard. Imperm. Okay. Bird call. Take one licorice monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Then you can spread some one licorice monster from uh, the deck. Oh, wait, from the hand with a different name. That's going to get ashed. Oof. Well, they have Sparrow and Canary in hand. They could probably do something right, maybe? Yeah, yeah, they, they got plays. They got plays. It's going to use Canary. Summons itself and the card from the graveyard, which is Wagtail. Says is all right. Ooh, says is all right. Mm, okay, see what they add. They added bird sanctuary. I feel like you should just flip this now. Bring out avian, and just flip everyone face down. Like, what can they do after that? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I feel like that's what you do. Okay, nothing. Let's gonna see what he's gonna go into. Uh, Radical Starling. If it's Exceed Summon, you can target one face up monster on the field. It gains 300 attack and defense for each material attached to this card. He says, On Summon Reading. And Lee says, No Summon Effect. So we're gonna use Dreaming Town now. Summon Rabina, Rabina. Channing 1, Eaglin, Channing 2, adds it back to the hand, searches for Tolkien, summons the um, Eaglin, adds Ryza, banish. Okay, so he's only going to get to spend one card. He's going to use the effect of Ryza. Target Canary and Fractal. Uh, Canary top deck and fractal to the top deck i mean yeah i mean that works that definitely works yeah that works 
that'll, that'll probably do it. Yep, that does it. We're going to go to game two. S plus ticket to win in game one. Lee is going to go first this time. Open their hands for this contest star. I forgot to say that game one. Kobot Sparrow, Bird Call, Foolish, Harpy's Feather Storm, and Kinka Boyo. Okay. That Harpy's Feather Storm, though. <laughs> Foolish Burial. It's gonna send the Wagtail, it's gonna summon King Caboyo. Okay, it gets a special summon the Wagtail from the graveyard with Kinka. It's gonna get the effect. Add a Licorice Spell Trap card from the deck to the hand. It's gonna add Bird Sanctuary. And Joel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't come down here to see his hand, but Stree. Ryza, Rabida, evenly match and Droll. Anyways, we're gonna exceed summon into the uh that that Drytron card. Well, it's not a Drytron card. They just play it. A symbol Nightingale. He draws into another Droll and Lockbird for turn and summons Rabina. And there is the Harpy's Feather Storm ending this turn. Gonna go battle phase attack. And it's going to save itself. Pass turn. Draws into a Warbler. Yeah, there's not really much you can do about uh, Harpy's Fighter Storm. It's a card. It hurts. Very bad. We got Bird Call activated. It's going to add Sapphire Swallow to the hand. It's going to special summon the um, Warbler. You know, so he's going to add three troll. He's going to special summon the Licorice from the hand or the graveyard. Choose a special summon Wagtail from the graveyard. Here comes Sapphire since they control a Winged Beast monster. Special summon this card and a level one from the hand. All right, we got a full board here. We got XC. He's going to overlay four level ones to make. This dude again. He says, uh, all right, he's gonna make um, a symbol Nightingale gain 300 attack and defense for each material attached to this card. So that's three, six, nine, twelve. Mm hmm. All right. It's going to activate this guy, Bird Sanctuary, switch it to attack, and he's going to activate the effect. You can target two Wing Beasts Exceed monsters you control. Attach one of those monsters to the other as material. So he attaches uh, Assemble Nightingale to um, Starling. Now, Assemble Nightingale has. <sighs> It right, gains 200 each material, but first we gotta count Starling's effect. So that was like 3, 6, 9, 12, plus 200, and then another 200. Oh, okay, so 1200, and then plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 24. And he can attack a bunch of times directly. That's like six or seven times. Yeah, he's just spamming attacks now. <laughs> Basically a million damage. He attacks seven times, has 2,200 attacks. Well, 26. Yeah, we're just going to go to game three, I guess. Wow, that's what they do. Okay. Pretty interesting, but hey, let's get into game three. That's plus going first, opening hand. Tokan, Robina, England, Unexplored Winds, and Impen. Up here we got Rageki, Warbler, 
Fractal, Wagtail, and Cobalt Sparrow. Well, no hand traps up there, and that's pretty much a Flunderie's hand that gets to, gets him to whatever he wants. It's gonna go Rabina. It's grabbing Street here, summoning Eaglin. Getting the Apex Predator. It's gonna tribute summon for Impin. Gonna get back Rabina, and he's gonna get Map to the hand. It's gonna activate Map. It's gonna use Map's effect, reveal Tokon, banish Dreaming Town, summon Tokon, target the uh, Dreaming Town, get it back to the hand. It's gonna activate the winds, activate the effect to put back stuff. It's gonna put back two cards, Stree and Apex Avian, draw into Book of Moon, and another copy of the Magnificent Map. It's gonna set Dreaming Town, set the Book of Moon and pass turn. Up here we have Canary drawn. Standby main phase. He's going to special summon can oh wait, that's Warbler. I think he's going to special summon another one from the hand. He's going to special summon Cobalt Sparrow. And he's going to add a level one wing beast monster from the deck to the hand. He's going to grab Sapphire Swallow. Overlay into that dude, Starling. He says, mmm, but uh, Starling, if I activate it to detach one and add a level one Wing Beast monster from the deck to the hand. We haven't got a normal summon yet. So we use Sapphire Swallow, this person itself, from the hand and Wagtail. It's going to use Wagtail's effect to add a spell of trap. It's going to add to the hand, Bird Call. It's going to go into another Starling. It says it's okay. It's going to activate that Starling's effect, detach, and add a level 1, because that is not once per turn. He adds Canary. And he's going to go into Utopic Future. He's going to choose a Book of Moon, that card. Fractal discarded. All right, let's get into some Tri Brigade action. Sends a kit. Kit of Fett. Sends a Nerval. Nerval of Fett. As Karas. It's going to normal summon the uh, Nerval, and we got the Magnificent Map activating. Summon Rabina. Chain League 1 Rabina, Chain League 2 Eaglin. It's going to grab Eaglin to the hand and Stree from the deck to the hand. Summon Stree. Activate the effect and banish Wagtail. It's going to summon Eaglin and add the Apex Predator. It's going to banish and he's tributing the Nerval with Winds. And he's also tributing his uh, Eaglin. It's going to summon out the Apex Predator on the field. A slittering snake. That's what he is. It's going to use Karas effect. It says it's okay. Um, yeah, okay. Should have probably negated it, maybe. It's gonna use Karas effect. Uh, Should have probably regekied first. <laughs> um, he could have regekied and then baited out the avian. I feel like should it all right before he before even activating Karas, I feel like he should have you know what? Maybe he got some he maybe he got something in the works that I just don't see. Let's keep going. He's gonna activate the Karas. That's gonna get negated. There's the Regeki. Bird call. Canary. Alright, so yeah, he pretty much got rid of Every opposing threat is going to go into Starling, and it's going to gain 300 attack and defense for each material attached to it, so it's 600. It's going to use the effect to attach and add Warbler to the hand. 
BP, attack for 600. It's gonna go Zeus. Is he gonna Zeus that man's? No, he's gonna pass turn. Standby, main phase. It's gonna try to use winds and it's gonna get Zeus. Zeus that man. Prosperity. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops. I said seven. Alright, we got a uh, evenly match. Cross out shifter and pen Robina. And another cross out. So there goes Robina. That's most likely the card he's going to take there because he has everything banished. Like everything. Yeah, he's going to take that Robina. He's going to put everything back. Gonna activate the map. Gonna activate the maps of fat. Reveal the Robina. Banish the token. Summons. Channing 2 is Eaglin. Adds back to the hand. And adds a street. Summons the street to banish. Oh, he's gonna asshole. He's gonna also get token back. But he's gonna banish the winds. Summons Eaglin. He gets the Apex Predator back to the hand. It's gonna summon out and pin. It's gonna to get token back to the hand. Wait a minute. Hold up. He already used that. He already used that. He, he cheating. He a cheater. He a, he cheater right now. I think he meant to add Street back to the hand, but but he he cheating right now. <laughs> it doesn't matter though. <laughs> it does. It really doesn't matter. He's going to summon out the token, get the effect. It's going to add winds. It's going to banish, banish. Summon uh, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. It's going to get back Robina. I think what he should have done, though, was like, I not summon that, but activate winds. And then tribute the Little Bird and the uh, Zeus. And some of the Apex Avian like that. Since, you know, he used map for his first summon. That's what he should have done. But um I, I guess he didn't think of that or I don't know. I mean either way, it's just the other way we would have done more damage. Would have attacked directly with twenty seven twice. It's going to activate wins and pass turn. His opponent, Lee, draws into a drolling Lockbird that he wishes he had on the previous turn. Well, 27 twice divided by 2. So it really just would have been a direct attack of 2700 because a pot of prosperity was activated. That's why he only took 1350. Guys, remember that. When Pot of Prosperity is activated, you're taking half that damage this turn. So they activate Pot of Prosperity and start building the board like they about to go for game. Just let them. Let them. Oh, you got game one board? Okay, battle phase. Attack me. Guess what? It's half. Yeah. 8K on board? No, more like 4K. Yeah, you got caught in 4K. How you feel? Anyways, it's going to activate Bird Call. It says, hmm. It says it's okay. It's going to get Cobalt Sparrow. So he knows he has a Cobalt Sparrow. It's going to special summon, um, what's her name? Warbler? From the hand. And activate the effect. Special summon from the hand or the grave. Should he have negated right there? Like, if you would have negated the bird call. This still would have came down anyways. <laughs> well, Alright, I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, it kind of does. 
because if you negate the bird call, they don't have Sparrow. So they summon the Warbler, especially. And then if they really want to play Yu-Gi-Oh, they're probably going to have to normal summon a Droll, which is a Spellcaster. Oh, yes. Yeah, they already used all three of them, though. Oh, boy. She's going to use Apex Avian to negate the on-field effect of Warbler, and that's going to end the game. GG's, GG's. That's the match. Hmm. S plus winning this one with Flutteries. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash the like button. Also, the subscribe button. And also, ding the notification bell so you can know whenever we upload a new video. Uh, what do you guys think about Flunderies, the new bird deck? In fact, what do you think about both of the bird decks? We got Flunderies and we got these these things going around doing stuff. Um, it's a pretty interesting format in my opinion. You know, yeah, we got Drytron. Yeah, we got a uh, Travigate bird stuff like this is. We got Flunderies too. We got um, I, I think Prankers are still floating about. We got PK, you know, they're doing things. We got a lot of pretty neat decks this format. You know, we still got Dragon Links, you know, trying to hang on to the little bit of life that they got left. Man. All I know is I can't wait to play some Yu-Gi-Oh! again in real life. I can't wait for the YCS in February, not January. And I can't wait to finish my deck. So, um, with that being said, I'm Bill from Plus Goods Gaming. Oh, let me remind you, Discord link is in the description, as well as the email link if you want to send in your replays from Dueling Book. Send them into the email in the description below. I'll be looking out for them. Hope you have a wonderful day. I'm Bill from Quest Guys Gaming. Turning the lights off.